Hello YouTube. How are we doing today? Welcome back to another metal detecting video. Just got off work not long ago. I'm gonna make my way to Clam Harbor Beach. We'll see how that works out for us. It's apparently um, low tide right now. So um, yeah, we can hope that uh, we'll have another semi-successful day there. By the time I get there, the tide will kind of be starting to go out, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. And I think that's where we'll go. We might go to Martinique, but I think that's where, where we'll go. All right, we'll see you down there. just thinking a little bit and uh, I'm thinking maybe here before too long what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pack up my metal detector in uh, my book bag wrap you know get it all wrapped up and I'm gonna drive here on my dirt bike in the woods and come out right there uh, it's street and trail so I can just take the street after I get to here or I can try to take the trail as far as humanly possible I might even reach out to a friend and see what the best way to do that is because I think there is a trail that actually goes out to Clam Harbor Road. Um, so yeah, I'd kind of like to do that, see if I can um, get from my house to um, down here without touching the provincial road, except to really to cross it and to get to the trail from my house to the trail, which is like two kilometers of a uh, provincial road. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. This is gonna end up at the start of the video, so we'll, call the, we'll make that the call to action. Uh, today along with um, liking and subscribing this video if you enjoy these videos and uh, other than that we're gonna see you pretty much right down on the beach hello YouTube how are we today we have arrived I never thought to look for uh, Janine but I didn't see her surely I would have noticed so we're back at Clam Harbor I'm gonna try to be smart and leave my detector off until I get all the way down the beach. There's a dude in the wood woods over there. Interesting. Seems like it's windy, so I probably uh, probably won't be talking to you until I find something. See you down there. I might have interrupted that guy peeing. Shouldn't pee in view of you walking down. It might be a little windy, but it's glorious. I'll leave you on until we get down here anyway. Yeah, maybe it's not windy. Finally got the tide right too. It's nice. Look at the children. Here to play in the sand. Look how much beach there is. Awesome. Alright. See you down there. Look at these guys making me look bad. That's very nice of them. I can't believe people do shit like that. It's so annoying. Hopefully that wasn't as a result of my video. I mean, it's not like this beach is a secret. Unfortunate they couldn't fill their fucking holes in though. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, I might have been accidentally recording that, but I found this spoon. Looks modern and not silver though. Still gotta find. I guess it's gonna be spoon day. This one's more ornate. Stainless. Cool. All right, I don't know what it is, but it looks good. Oh, it's another spoon. Three up, three down, stainless steel spoons. Isn't that something? It's crazy. All right, I got the strongest signal I've had all day. Let's see what we can come up with. Even a penny would be nice. Huh. Damn, that's a good signal. Oh my god. Oh, that one's silver though. That one looks at least silver plated. Four for four. All right, I'm gonna hop and skip the rocks up here. See if there's any beach left showing. I don't think those guys kept going down this far. So that means they left the spot where I was finding all the stuff last time. Hopefully. The tide comes in so fast. Like, seems like it takes a while to go out and then it comes in really fast. Surely there's still some beach to work with here. Yeah, there is. I bet there's stuff amongst this ro these rocks too. If you took your time and went through it. All right, let's see if we can find any old coins before uh, this comes back up. I know they're here. Alright, I'm gonna cut you off till I find something. Alright, I've been battling these rocks. But I finally have one I think that I can get at. And it looks like a nail. Or a piece of something. I don't know what that is. Looks like a little wedge of some sort or something. There. Crazy. I don't know if I'm going to skip to the next beach or not. Hard to say. Now the people will know someone was here. I think I am going to go to the next one. I'm in trouble and they're building an Inuk shop. Come across them miles from anywhere. Well, maybe now I'll find out what they're for. She said, now the people will know we were here. No, the people will know we were here. All right, I'm gonna start to head back toward the, the main beach. Doesn't seem to be a lot going on down here, which is uh, too bad. Might've got cleaned out. I might have to start being a little more careful about uh, posting of locations and all of that. Anyway, not a big deal. Still found spoons and stuff, so that means that they, uh, they didn't get everything. Because those spoons were uh, strong targets. 
all four of them were. Oh, this dried up since the last time I was here. When me and Janine were here, that was a, a lake, basically. That rock looks out of place. What a great beach. What a fantastic beach. That's a bone. See that? Chicken bone or something. Chicken wing. A very nice day. A lot of, uh, a lot of planes overhead today. All right, I'm gonna kind of work the bank on the way back, I think, the bank-ish. I kind of focused on the, down a little further on the way here, because those guys were up by the bank. Where this beach isn't enclosed, it's coming in much slower. I know I'm doing the exact opposite of what I just said I was gonna do, but I'm actually gonna start working the bank when I get up past these rocks. Just so you don't think I'm schizophrenic. Oh. Awesome. Very cool. That's actually my second pizza beach glass that I found. I thought about giving it to the kids, but I like uh, I like beach glass a little too much. What is this? Oh, I remember. Uh, there was a. There's a concrete block there. Actually, when me and Janine were here, I'm almost certain that was, those two things were above, like the whole thing was above sand. Has there really been like two or three feet of sand moving here? Has the surf been strong? I don't know. I can't believe I found all those spoons and no, uh, no coins though. I want some pocket change, goddammit. All right, gonna start to slow down here. Head up toward the bank and work over where they went. Hopefully they missed some stuff. We'll see if I find anything. All right, I don't know what this is. Yeah, not sure at all what that is, but Oh, there is some writing on it. Some sort of tag off something, a bird maybe. I had a pretty weird signal in a pretty weird place. Figured I'd bring it back, see if we can find it. I don't hear it, so it must have fallen out. Pretty certain I had it in the scoop. No? I see it. To die. <laughs> oh, is that King George? That is King George. Awesome. So this must be at least uh, 52 or older. It is 1952. Can you see that right there? Sick, man. I found that like right beside where I got that tag there. King George, my brother. That's a really good one. Sick, man. So I'm almost certain this has a silver content. I'll have to look up what when I get home, but I'm almost certain it does. I'm so happy with that. Even if I leave with nothing else but those spoons and this, it was a great day. Awesome, man, so happy. All right, had another really nice target right beside that King George dime. Ooh, that smells kind of bad. I think I hear it. Oh yeah, Penny. 
Oh, it looks like it might be old too. That's also King George. What year? Oh no, it can't be, 1960. Yeah, that's Queen Liz. I'm getting too excited. Still 1960. Cool. All right, I had a signal in a terrible spot, but more sand came out than I expected. I think we got it. I thought I heard something. Not quite as old that one, 76. Penny. Guys, it finally happened. We have a watch. Unbelievable. Water resistant stainless steel. It looks pretty junky, but still. Cool. It's definitely seen better days. I don't think I did that though, so. Man, this has been a really successful day. I just reached down to pick up my, uh, my scoop and look. No year or anything, I don't think. Can't quite tell, but. Uh, oh, wait. 1969, maybe? It might just be 15,195, I'm not sure. Beach glass. Almost certain. I got another spoon here. Almost certain. Yep. Stainless steel. Another one. All right, I had a really good, but what I would call odd signal. I don't think that's it. No. Do we have something else? Yeah, what is this? Piece of an old can or something. Real strong signal, must be 10. Here's a great example of how a beach can change. When I was here just a couple weeks ago, that sand bank was, oh, I don't know, 10 feet that way. It's grown out like crazy. So I guess sand kind of collects here at certain times and then gets pulled back out. I would suppose is how it works. It's very interesting. I've never found anything on this side of the beach, so I just want to take a little walk up here and check out the inlet and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna head home. We'll do a roundup and then I'm gonna head home. How much battery do I have left here? 33. How about I just keep you on and we'll walk down there? You can check out the beach with me. Not too sure if there's another way to get back down here or not. Man, it's nice and flat up here. I would think that people come here and put their towels out. I would think. All right, I think I'm gonna basically give up the facade that I'm metal detecting. I found lots of good stuff today. We'll save it for next time and just get to walking. Huh. Looks like maybe at one point there was a boardwalk there. Since we know that, I'm going to bust out the metal detector here. Just have a quick look. I'll bring you back if I find anything. I'm going to have a quick sweep. 
All right. Here's our roundup. We got the spoons. As you can see, got the watch, some beach glass, this penny, and this tag, whatever it is. Looks copper. Some more beach glass over here and some rocks. And then the two real good finds of the day. The silver dime, which I gotta check to see how much silver in it, but I could tell you with 100% certainty that there's some silver in it. And then the 1960 penny, which, uh, you know, whatever. Awesome. Today was a really great day. If you guys uh, enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe so that you uh, see all my videos and hit that bell button so you get notified when I upload. I think this is silver plated as well. This one could also be silver plated. I'm not positive though. Awesome. All right, guys. We'll catch you next time. Peace. The Shaner in the Kitchen.